Hello. Today we are going to design a quick logo in under 10 minutes on FlexiSign Pro. This is a quick tutorial. We're going to use the text tool to begin our logo. So we select text, which is the T on the left hand side on the menu. We're going to type what we require. We are using the Charles Wright font, which is the number plate font used in the United Kingdom. We need to sort our spacing out as you can tell the letters are way too close to each other that wouldn't work now so on the right hand side here in your design central we are going to use this little section to space our letters out we increase or decrease this this number like so pretty self-explanatory once we got the correct spacing we can align our lettering like so once we're happy with that we could maybe play around with our colors and for this one i'm just gonna go with something like this a little bit of pinky purple fusia with a bit of yellow sunshine let's add some outline here we're going to choose our color for our outline now if that was too quick for you i'll show you again we select our text go to effects up on the top menu right there go to outline see on the right hand side design central pick a color for your outline black in this case click the green tick and voila we have an outline that looks a little better now line it up to where you wish you could even use this the way it is call it a logo quick logo for a blog or something like that but let's take it to one next step add the shadow now this is a pretty neat little trick to make your design come alive now it looks like it's actually 3d lifting off the page a bit you notice it looks a little better okay we could use this design just like this or let's take it to the next step we're going to keep it simple because this is a beginner guide. We're going to import a picture that we like. I like this little red CRF Honda because I designed a lot of motorbike graphics. So I have this. Um, we're going to send this to the back order. Right click order to the back. What we're doing here, I am going to use the wheel as part of the logo. Just a quick quick way of doing it we're gonna size everything up fit our logo text into the wheel rim like so and we're gonna select a shape on the left hand side on our menu we can select various shapes here we're gonna select a circle when we click and hold we can make a circle of any size like this i'm zooming in and out circle of any size i'm gonna choose this size which is approximately not the correct size so i'm gonna resize it using the four corner edges of the resize box that way it keeps all the proportions like so now I'm, here i'm just trying to center it nicely as all i want is just the wheel why we're gonna make the wheel itself part of the logo so now i'm gonna select everything and we're gonna mask it right click mask watch the magic that is beautiful there we go we've got a logo we could absolutely use this for a website a uh, favicon icon you know a lot and um, we could also prettify it a little bit now I'm making words up but check this um let's 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 say you wanted to change your color we'll right click unmask 
we're going step back now we just want to change the color real quick because i actually don't like the yellow so i'm just going to move our masking layer to the back that was right click order to the back right click select within on the text i want to change and pick a color let's go for kawasaki green as you can tell i like bikes anyways now i like that i'm gonna place it to where it seems okay i think about there seems okay we'll do with that the blue circle i am gonna order it to the front to make a mask so right click order to front and we're gonna select everything we're gonna right click mask and the magic happens again we have our logo beautiful now we're gonna do the same trick making it a bit fancier we're pros right working with flex sign pro we are pros so we add a little shadow like so and i would say that's a usable usable logo just to show you how the shadow happens again we go to effects shadow select where you want the shadow using these little um drop down menus and buttons click the green tick when you're done and there's your logo now we do need to save it so we can use it in other places we're not gonna save file save like in usual programs we're gonna export so on the top menu where you go file edit view arrange on the top menu we're gonna click file and go to export right there export under import export here we can choose what type of file we're gonna export it as maybe a png where it can be used on the web or maybe a jpeg file like so and you now you're just gonna name it like usual and click save and you've got your complete logo done and that's us done for today